the students are given, uh, at, at some schools they're given these journals um, from the school, and the journals include this comic strip, and again, I've translated some of this into Hebrew to give you a sense of the kinds of messaging that Naftali Bennett uh, wants his students to read. There's a conversation between two young men, one called Jack and one called Jacob, a, a non-Jewish man and a Jewish, a Jewish, non-Jewish boy and a Jewish boy. So Jack starts off, look, we're the same. Well, I'm a Gentile and you're a Jew. There's no difference between us. Kumbaya, sounds great, right? <laughs> ah, but now, yeah, uh, Jacob comes in true. We look the same. We even have the same name as Jack is Jacob. But we're not the same at all because I have a Torah which guides me to live correctly. A person with Torah and a person without Torah are not the same at all, even if they outwardly appear so. So, again, you know, we're, we're advancing beyond the age of comic books and kids are starting to learn how to read you know, read real books without any pictures. And um, so the Ministry of Education has a list of books that they promote to young students to improve their reading skills. And among those books include these, which I've lifted these quotes from them. We're talking about the Arab Gentiles have no desire to, ha we have no desire to have them here among us. More holiness has to be brought into the state of Israel until we reach a Torah state, a total theocracy. A few times, the King's Torah, this became a bestseller in Israel in 2010, when a rabbi wrote a theological treatise. He asked the question, under what circumstances is a Jew allowed to kill a non-Jew? Um, well, he came to the conclusion, after some deliberation, that in fact, there is justification for killing babies if it is clear that they will grow up to harm us. This is the conclusion the book comes to. Now, it's not only words there's actions these these you know these things have an effect on society people read this and they learn okay well the rabbi say it's okay that means i can go out and do it and in fact just in the last year and a half we have jewish israelis going out and firebombing the home of a palestinian family in the west bank and killing a father mother and a one-year-old baby